We got some jetty action in store for you all. I'm not going to do live shrimp. I, okay, so I'm going to say I'm not going to do live shrimp. However, we are buying it. Christian will use it. And I'm going at them with some lures. So I probably got a big challenge in store for myself. Nonetheless, I'm going to give it a shot. God, what was that about, y'all? What the heck happened? That is the first time I've heard something like that. We gotta check to see if our line didn't wrap. Line did not wrap. I don't know what that's about. Uh, maybe y'all heard the same thing that I heard. Seriously, I don't know what that was. My brakes, maybe? That is, yeah, that's the brakes. What is going on? Everything appears to be in order. Oh, man. The brake fell off of its track. So this brake is broken. The only thing that I can do is just remove it and then possibly remove the other one that's across from it to balance it out and then just continue. I think that's gonna take care of it though. We're gonna have less brake about like braking, so we gotta go probably a little bit higher than what we were set at. And watch out, bro! I'm trying to fish here, man. Yeah, there we go. Let's lower that brake again. Get this guy figured out, dialed back in. No, that was a rock. Oh, no, it was one. So that probably was hitting my crap. Yep. It felt like I, this dude was able to put that much, look. You're lucky I'm not that guy, bro. You see that? That's not me. And we're gonna let you go. Let's get back down here towards the water, y'all. Look at that, that is just uh, downright. Hey, that dude just jumped up and bit me. I got some pretty gnarly chompers. There's another one, and they're right by the rocks. We got a young lady over here who politely asked if we catch them, you know, do we mind giving them to her? And I don't mind. These guys will keep stealing uh, Christian's bait if we don't. Uh huh. It feels so awkward, son, because I'm so close to the rocks and it feels like I just get snagged all of a sudden. You know, if we did offshore fishing, like trolling for kings and stuff like that, I mean, we would keep almost all these fellas right here and um, definitely be able to, what do you call it, have a good shot at bringing in a king. This, they, they give you a little bit. Right, that's the last ribbon that I'm gonna show y'all. Um, kind of gets, repetitive I'm gonna take a quick pause for a minute y'all so I can clean up my area I don't want to be embarrassed I mean I'm already embarrassed as a uh, Texan having to deal with uh, our jetty system looking the way it does but you got to just understand like these people are a different kind of breed they do all kinds of just nastiness you got braid you got fishing line crab line it's just all over the place it's just ridiculous so let's kind of clean up i'm pretty sure y'all noticed this stuff right here i know i did and i just want to clean it up all this stuff the birds get tangled in it they eat it and then you know we're just affecting our wildlife in every way possible more fish in line like this is what I was talking about especially to all the patrons y'all when I give y'all that like the safety part of coming out here to the jetty just exposed hooks on the rocks and it takes nothing so if you come out here in flip-flops you're more susceptible to be in 
stabbed by these things right here. If you bring your kids out, I can't tell y'all how many kids I see walking around here barefoot. It's just super nasty. All right, I think this is presentable. Well, he's got some head shakes, y'all. So this one's not feeling like an actual ribbon fish, but it's been my experience and luck and we're not with a ribbon fish, finally. Something to show the camera. We've caught so many ribbons, it is ridiculous. This is a sand trout right there on a spoon. Christian, I finally did it. Sand trout, achievement unlocked, baby. Let's go down there and release this guy because we have no intent on keeping anything. One of these days we're gonna cook some up like for lunch right here on the jetty, but today is not that day. This is a small guy though. That wouldn't even make sashimi. That's got a little bit of weight. Foul hooked sand trout, but he's got a lot of weight to him. Yeah, this guy's not gonna make it. He's crab bait for sure. That right there is gonna be my last cast with the half ounce spoon. We're gonna switch it up to a paddle tail. Let's see if that shimmer swimmer, we're gonna use the bigger variety as well. Hopefully if there's any big mama swimming out there, we can trigger that bite. But uh, right here, another sand trout. So let's see what the uh, paddle tail can do. All right, y'all, before we go any further, I wanted to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Shop Carl's. The lures that we're using can be found on their website. They will be linked in my video description down below. If you decide to make a purchase, do not forget to use the code MDLR10. If you're a first time buyer at that website, you're gonna be able to take advantage of up to 30% savings, which equates to big money back inside your pocket. There's quite a few things that I purchased from there and for my fishing line, my hooks, the lures themselves, they can all be found there. Again, link down below, save big, become a member, and uh, save that 30%. So here we are, the big shimmer swimmer. That's the four and a half inch. And then we have, we have a four aught sized Storm 360 Coastal GT jig head. And the fishing line that we're using is 20 pound Power Pro, yellow and we've also got a 20 pound leader so let's see what we can do with this fella i'm hoping for the best if we can't get anything to bite this guy then we will definitely switch back down to the half ounce spoon that was definitely getting the bite we may even go up to the one ounce silver spoon oh christian's got a speck it looks like oh Oh, you got him still? Yeah, sling him up. There you go. Keeper spec. Way to go, son. We got one, y'all. He definitely thumped it. I gave him a little time to take it in his mouth. And it looks big. Maybe he's foul hooked. I don't know. Yeah, he's foul hooked. There's no way in the world that he's hooked in the mouth. Oh man, foul hooked, Christian. I foul hooked the spec. God, I thought that was gonna be a big mama. All right, sweetheart, let me uh, try to get you back in. Gosh, I feel so bad. Well, we know they're down there and they're going after the bigger variety bait. At least they weren't hitting my spoons. Hold on, girl. I'm gonna need you to just chill while we kick it for a little bit. There we go. I have no idea what this is. Holy cow, that's a overachiever sand trout, y'all. Look at this big sand trout trying to eat that four and a half inch lure. Goodness gracious. I mean, he had no fight, no head shakes, no nothing. That's why I didn't know. Now we do. 
So a nice day out there on the water. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click that thumbs up button for those of y'all that are interested again in the lures and tackle that we use that came from the Shop Carl's website. It's all linked down below. Check it out. First time buyers get $10 off your purchase of $25 or more with the use of code MDLR10. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, tight lines y'all.